Welcome back to the channel everyone and today we've got a brand new action figure review from the Marvel Legends line. This is from the Iron Man Retro Series and this is a figure I was bullied into buying thanks to the ways of the Sith. I wasn't going to buy this figure but he he made me do it. This is the Marvel Legends She-Hulk and I, as I said I wasn't going to buy this figure but I watched Waze's review. I usually don't watch other reviews so my mind isn't pre pre, I don't know, to other people's thoughts and stuff. But uh, I watched Waze's review. He kept saying how fantastic this figure was. And yeah, I just, when I, when it came to the, when it came to do my, my order, not my, my order or whatever, I was weak and I hit the buy button. But uh, here's the She-Hulk. She does look really, really good in pack. I am looking forward to getting her out of the, the packaging and stuff. The packaging is fantastic though. Um, we will give another look at it now though. So let's check out the box. So let's take a look at the She-Hulk in package. And again, like I was saying with Count Nefaria, the backing cards are absolutely fantastic. If you are a mint on card collector, they're brilliant. They're quite hard and you definitely won't they definitely won't bend easily. So yeah, if you're putting these on a wall, they look really, really nice. Not for me though, I will be taking them out of the packaging. And looking at She-Hulk the way she is, I hope she's not bow-legged when I take her out. Because sometimes when their, their legs are out like that, they can get stuck in that way and it's really difficult to work them back. On the back, you've got the old classic Toy Biz packaging. Again, there's a blurb up here. Again, they're very long, they're not, so I'm not going to read it. And you've got the legalese there. So yeah, let's get She-Hulk out of the box. So here we have She-Hulk down off the swing with it. And let's take a quick look at the accessories she came with. So unfortunately for this figure, you only get two extra hands. One of course a punching hand and one a grabbing hand. So you can have one of both or one of each or two different ones. She also comes with this as well, which is kind of a, a crushed up AK-47 I'd imagine. If you can see that there. And that's quite new. I don't think I've seen this accessory with a Marvel Legends this figure before. I'm sure someone can correct me if I'm wrong but no I don't think I've seen this before and it's quite cool actually um it's rightly smashed up and it's like she went like that and it fits in her hands like that as well so that's a really decent accessory not something I've seen before so that's interesting it doesn't come unfortunately with anything else so it's kind of the thing at the moment there's like a poor poor there's a dirt of accessories lately with some of these legend figures of course they are doing the whole if you get more accessories it's a deluxe now which is kind of bad business behavior but that's another video wholeheartedly so let's move on to check what size this figure is so we let's run the rule over a she hulk and looking at her here she is just above seven inches which is quite tall for a marble legend figure and fitting height for She-Hulk. Let's measure up to the previous release She-Hulk, which is kind of a more modern take, I would say. I would say. Um, oops, she's falling all over the place. So yeah, like, a bit taller than her, actually. And I think that's down to... Let's measure this one. So this She-Hulk is just under 7 inches. And I would say that's to do with the hair. Let's look at them back to back. As you can see there, the hair is giving her a big advantage. And uh, yeah, so two different, two different modern or two different eras of She-Hulk. So which one is the better figure though? I've had, this has been my main She-Hulk in my collection for the longest time. And I think that's going to change because this one fixes a lot of issues I have with this one. Mainly which is articulation and stuff. This one absolutely blows out of the water. Now let's get to her and move this one out of the way for a moment. So let's get to our main main character for today's review. This She-Hulk, the paint on her is absolutely outstanding, I would say. 
look at the brightness of that green and if you look at look there at the face sculpt that's really really good as well and the hair as well all done really really nice it's sculpted really nicely and yeah like yes it's more like um classic she hulk or even she hulk from the 90s animated hulk show but i do like this one so much more articulation wise you've got double jointed pinless elbows on this one pinless legs as well pinless knees i should say boot rotation ankle rockers tight swivels should give you a good kick up the backside and now the one funny thing i noticed with this is the knees being a different color i do not like that at all they could not have just painted them again with the elbows the same thing so that is a massive oversight on this figure the elbows and knees are different color different skin color well done hasbro well done my friend so yeah that's my one pet peeve about this figure and we're probably not a few significant points off of it again i forgot when i was doing comparisons to size her up next to a red regular marvel legend and here is uh our buddy wade doing his best to uh stand up to her uh eyes where i can see him wade but uh yeah so that's she hulk a very very nice figure but these knees and elbow paints like you can even see it from here really ruined this figure <laughs> in a bit in a way like once i saw them i couldn't unsee them and every picture I look at now will straight out of my eyes go to the knees because the paint, look at that like I can't get over how much of a massive oversight that is on their part and otherwise I would have been giving this figure like an 8 or a 9 but now I'm only going to give her a 7 I think and that's that's been generous I think so yeah like it's disappointing that something so small can ruin a figure but that's the way it is so yeah a 7 out of 10 for She-Hulk very good figure let down by some very terrible qc and that seems to be a, a it's not even qc it's just the lack of thought when they when they looked at this and said oh that's done that's fine they would have not seen this and went back to print i don't know but anyway that's a seven out of ten for she hulk great figure let down though thanks guys have a good one and make sure to hit that subscribe button please and we'll see you in the next one bye